Recently, I was working on a project where I was trying to turn my LG G4 smartphone into a 360 camera. And for that project, I wanted an app that would allow me to record simultaneously from my front and rear camera. This turned out to be a little trickier than I expected, and I wasn't able to find a lot of resources online showing how to do this. So I thought I would share what I came up with, and hopefully that's helpful to someone. Just a note, because of hardware limitations, this only works on some Android phones. So the LG G4 works, some HTC, HTC phones, and some Samsung phones. And there could be others, but I'm just not aware of them. I'm not really going to talk about the code much. It's pretty simple, basic, accessing the camera and starting a recording. But I am going to talk about two different things that hung me up for a while that might be helpful for you. And then, of course, I'll provide a link to the code in the description. One thing to note real quick is I'm using the Camera 1 API. I have not attempted to do this with the new Camera 2 API. So this is very normal stuff. We first start off asking for permissions to see if we have access to the camera. If not, we request that permission. Then we save the instances of the front and the back cameras. This prepare to record video function is where most of my problems were. I make two new media recorders for the back and the front camera. And for the first camera, the back camera, I just set it equal to the camcorder profile with the highest quality for my LG G4. And then this is important, I set the audio sampling rate to make sure that this is the media recorder that is recording the audio. I'll get to that later. Now in this particular app, all I have on the screen is a button. I'm not previewing the images at all because I didn't want to clutter the screen with that. I really just wanted to record from both cameras simultaneously. So at first I ignored having a surface texture and a place I could preview to display. But it turns out in order for the stream to work correctly and to record to a file, you have to have a surface texture and you absolutely must use a set preview display function or else it will not work. Even if you're not using a preview display, just like I was, it still needs to be there if you want to record video. Now with the second media recorder, you can see I've done things a little bit differently. On my LG G4, you are able to access both the front and the back camera and record from them simultaneously. However, only one media recorder can access the microphone at the same time. When you use the set profile function and set it equal to a certain quality, it will automatically default the audio to a certain level and assume that you want to record audio. So in order to get around both media recorders requesting access to the microphone. I saved the profile down into a variable and then only extracted the pieces I want. You'll notice that there's nothing to do with audio in here. And by leaving that out, recording audio is disabled by default and it will not request access to the microphone. The rest of the code is self-explanatory and we just press a button and start and stop the recording. You can see the results of my project and a link I'll leave in the description. And also if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll try to help.